Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double-A Texas League. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Midland Rockhounds and the Corpus Christi Hooks. Now in the box, Vimael Machin, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Two and two. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Popped up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Stepping into the box, Dylan Thomas comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 1-1. One, one. Adcock, a left-hander that stands six foot one inches tall. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. At the plate, George Merritt. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the payoff pitch home. Line to the right side. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. So stepping in, Brian De La Cruz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one-two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So digging in now, Gray Kessinger. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Coming to the plate now, Chucky Robinson will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. All set for the start of the inning. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Eric Peralta. One and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Lazaro Armenteros. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ready now, Logan Davidson. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, J.J. Matajevic. Turned on down the line. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And that's out number one. So striding in, Colton Shaver. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Digging in, Corey Jolts. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. This offense just doesn't look like they came to play today. Ugly swing after ugly swing. Just needs to be a better approach across the board. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Buddy Reed. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Ball three. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in, J.J. Schwartz. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. 1-1. One, one. In the air, out to right. De La Cruz is underneath this one. Two gone. Stepping up to the plate, Marcos Brito. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. And the pitch. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Riding forward now is the D.H., Carmen Benedetti, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, two-and-one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Here now the two-two. Jeremy Pena, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Jeremy Pena, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one-two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And that's the second out. Play. Alex McKenna. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now the three and two pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Peralta will put this one away and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Vimael Mashin. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. McKenna comes on now, and he has it one down. Digging in for his second at-bat, Dylan Thomas comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. There's ball four. Stepping in and ready for another shot. George Merritt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Maris. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Brian De La Cruz. The 1-1 home. Popped him up. Merritt moving to his left. One away. Coming to the plate now, Gray Kessinger. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ready to deliver the one and two. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. Digging in to try it again, Chucky Robinson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Rounded down the third baseline. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Line drive to center field. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Now back, the first baseman. At the plate, J.J. Matajevic lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eric Peralta. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. In the air to straightaway center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Lazaro Armenteros. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Armenteros. To 2 and 2 now. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the play. Digging in the switch hitter, Logan Davidson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Colton Shaver. The one-two. Two-and-two. Sent on the ground out to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So coming to the plate, Corey Jones. Corey. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Thomas is there, two down. Blake now is the designated hitter. Carmen Benedetti. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. 
has to put the ball in play. The two and one on its way. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Fastball in there three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line in left. And that's in there base hit. Now back second baseman Jeremy. Pena. Into the box Jeremy Pena. Line toward right center. That gets down and the inning continues. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. Stepping in now, Alex McKenna. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Ready for another shot now. Brian De La Cruz. He struck out and popped out in his two previous trips. The 2-2 pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Riding in, Buddy Reed. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Now the 2 1. There's a slider taken for a ball. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. If they say that's a Hall of Fame pitch. High in the air out to center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now that. Digging in now, J.J. Schwartz. He flew out in his last at-bat. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. In now, Marcos Brito. First time up, he went down looking. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. of the sixth inning now and stepping up as the shortstop Ray Kessinger ready with the 1 1 pitch fastball close but he didn't get it 2 and 1 and it's two balls and two strikes now hey would like to see a little bit more discipline than that you get a count in your favor and swinging a pitch that bad not good Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Ready once again, Chucky Robinson, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. On to first, and there are two down. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, J.J. Matajevic. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Vimael Machin. They'll start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitcher's duel to date. The 1 1. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now Stepping back. in, Dylan Thomas. It was a walk in his last trip. Hard hit ball to second. In time to first, and there are two away. 
standing in, George Merritt. Two out, nobody on. This is line to left. Well, this is going to hang up there just long enough to be taken in on the run in shallow left, and that ends the inning. John Gorman gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 49. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go as the third baseman, Colton Shaver. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now that. Riding in once again, Corey Jokes. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. At the plate now, Carmen Benedetti. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The next three two and a changeup couldn't get him to bite and it's ball four into the box now Jeremy Pena he's working on a one for two game so far the two one home nope I'll tell you it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes, what are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Scooped up. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Alex McKenna. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Brito has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Eric Peralta. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. 3 and 2 now. Now the payoff pitch home. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now to the plate, Lazaro Armenteros. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1 home. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. In now, Logan Davidson. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Base hit into the left center field gap. Peralta rounds the corner and is headed home. Now the relay home. He's in there at the plate. And we are tied here in the eighth. Gabriel Valdez is on the pitch here in the now eighth Valdez. with nobody out. The cover fielder, Buddy Reed. So now to the plate, Buddy Reed. Fastball is looked at for strike two.
This is popped up. Shaver has room in foul territory. Makes the play one away. Stepping into the box, J.J. Schwartz. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if they'll fish. The 2-1 home is taken ball three. to second and a dive but he's back in the three and one pitch hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans working for the punch out and the offering now a line drive and that may be enough to break our tie that's down for extra bases as he arrives at second without a play as a run is also in and with it they take the lead Marco Brito. at the plate Marcos Brito now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down but a foul ball one and two the count now from the stretch this is hit the other way out toward left field left fielder giving chase Oh, and he can't come up with it. Now batting. The Dimael Mahi. Into the box now. Vimael Mahi. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. Dylan now Thomas. Back. No Thank hits you. to this point. He'll Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. Throw to second, but he's in there as two runs come across to score away from the play. The third base play. Merritt. Into the box, George Merritt. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And that'll score the runner from second to make this a 6-2 ball game now. Carlos Sanabria enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Standing in now, Eric Peralta. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Into the box now, Lazaro Armenteros. He's working on a one for three thus far. Heading out towards shallow right. De La Cruz is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Jesus Zambrano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in the outfielder, Brian De La Cruz. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The batter number nine. In now, Gray Kessinger. Kessinger. On the ground to second base, this could be two. The second for one, on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Chucky. Striding into the box, Robinson. Chucky Robinson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Zambrano, 23 years old. He throws a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. 
He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Dean Dietz enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Logan Davidson. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Now, better. now with the play, the Buddy Reed, who could really Reed. use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a liner. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Now Digging in once again, J.J. Schwartz. JJ. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Stepping up now, J.J. Matajevic. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 2-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Armenteros is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Now Ready for another chance. Colton Shaver. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 2 1 home. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. At the plate now, Corey Jolks. Fly ball right down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. The throw is wild and he gets away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Into the box, Carmen Benedetti. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. The Rockhounds wrap up their 20th road win of the season. John Gorman wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Brett Adcock takes the loss despite working seven strong innings. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.